Guys, I'm doing a comparison and a review of the all-terrain clog, which has been fully redesigned, and the off-road sport clog. And again, this has been redesigned. The material on both of these is identical. When I wear these, even though they look vastly different, internally with the material, it's consistent with what you're used to. The only difference that I can say is now the material is much thicker here and here. It's been reinforced, meaning before the, some of the older off-road clogs I had, this was really, really flimsy, and now it's not. I'm pushing there, but there's a lot more substance there. Several years back, okay, they had a winner with the Crocs. Everybody was wearing them. Then there was a time where no one was wearing them. But in between there, they've changed the material ever so slightly to make them just slightly stronger. They are just much stronger, a lot more support in the arch here. And, and you're going to notice that. And so, you know, I could get maybe four months out of my Crocs before, five months, but I was going everywhere in them. Now, Crocs can last up to a year and a half, two years of you just beating them down. I mean, just tearing them up. And it's because they've changed the material. But again, it's ever so slightly, and most people didn't even recognize from the old Crocs. And the reason I say that is because my old Crocs, you could just do this. They were just like sponges almost, where this is really, really more of a shoe. There's more substance on both of these. They're I mean, you really have to kind of pull it together. But here, I mean, where it counts, it's, again, very supportive, very soft. So you're getting what you want out of the Crocs. Both the all-terrain clog and the off-road sport clog or unisex. So when you go, you're gonna see a size that's for a man and a woman. They fit true to size, meaning if you're a 12, then you wanna order a 12. But with the new all-terrain clog, they have a different mechanism here, just the way they attach it. Here, where the Velcro and the strap hook up, they now have sewn in a plastic piece, which is really nice. So it makes it really easy, okay, to pull apart, where again, with the redesigned off-road clog, they've left it the same. This mechanism's the same, and this strapping is the same. Both of them say Crocs. The off-road has a smaller heel strap, versus the all-terrain clog has a larger heel strap. A lot of people like this too. About the thickness, you can see right here, they're identical. Here we go. When we look at the bottoms, the off-road clog has been, again, redesigned. The tread is much thicker, much more defined than the prior uh, unit that came before, just the original off-road. And again, the same thing here. With the all-terrain clog, they've added these rubber spots. They've glued them in. When we look at them, you know what? we can see different things that we like, you know? I was like, this is really neat. It's more of a rubber versus this is the croc material. I think they put this on there so this will last longer, meaning you're when you're walking all the time, when you're going hiking, when you're going through the rapids, this is gonna be the first thing that hits the ground and this is gonna be worn out, yet this is a stronger material than just the regular croc. This would wear out first versus this because they've added these to it. The all-terrain Crocs here are newer. A few more advancements like I was sharing. Uh, they're getting every bit of uh, 79 uh, 69 $59. Uh, these, they are 59 49 39 I like Both of these come in real tree camo, and both of them have about 20 different colors. This is the real tree camo here. It kind of tells you and shows you what that looks like. It's a nice looking croc. It really is. Um, it's gorgeous. I mean, it really is a nice croc, and I do like the thicker uh, heel strap on it. But I like the off-road. I like this uh, this bend right here in the front, the reinforcement. Both of them have been reinforced. And I know there's someone out there who's saying, Matt, if you had to have one of these and you had to choose, which one would you choose? Uh, you know what? I really can't choose one over the other because they've both been redesigned. They've both been reinforced. The problems that they had in the past with little things, just minute things, they've corrected all of those things. Both of them have their strengths, their weaknesses. 
I love taking Crocs through rivers. I love having these when I'm hiking in my backpack in case I go somewhere and my shoes get wet or I'm going to have to go through, you know, a riverbed or something. I love having them at the pool. I just like having these all the time. When we go canoeing, me and my wife wear Crocs. We like them. You know what? They float. I can't tell you how many times I flipped my kayak and I never have to worry about my Crocs because Crocs float. Because listen, listen, if I'm going to be somewhere and it's going to be slippery, I really would like this croc, the all-terrain croc. I like if I'm going to be going through the hillsides or something, I really like the larger backstrap. If I'm going to be taking them on and off and I need to adjust them, I like the pull. I really do, you know. Uh, it's going to fit the same. If I'm just wearing something out of the house, going to the Home Depot, and I really don't care about slipping, it's not wet outside, I mean, this is your go-to croc. This is tried and true. And again, because this is a redesigned model, but the older, this is the new generation of the older model, uh, this is running you $30, almost half. When I bought these, they this was $29. These were $59. Newest, greatest, brightest, shiniest. Uh, this is tried and true. Again, different textures on the bottom but the way they feel as you're wearing them is identical. No difference whatsoever. I mean, if I was to put these on your feet and not tell you which ones they were and have you walk around the house, you could not tell a difference unless the strap was really tight on your heel and you could kind of figure out, okay, that's the larger strap. I have links in my description for both pairs, the all-terrain pair and the off-road sport clog both from Crocs, both tried and tested, both totally awesome. Guys, I hope this review helped you with the two different styles and kind of narrowed it down what you want, what you're willing to pay, gave you some tips and tricks of what's going on here. And um, I tell you what, you really can't go wrong when you're wearing these. They're just absolutely the most comfortable shoe and they're tried and true. I love wearing them and wearing them and wearing them. And there's very few times that I'm not wearing them. So, hey, get, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And thanks for watching.